It's gonna crash on the egg. No! Oh, yachts. I'm ready to revert, but save my baby! Watch out! No! Look, it's hatching. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on. No. Hang on. Just one last push. Please. Yes! Oh, my God, yes! That's my baby! You can do this! Where are you going? Stay here! Come to Mama! Spread your wings, baby Galanta. Wait a minute. What wings? You did it, Doc. How does it feel? It's the most important day of my life, Ulukai. I'm so excited to finally meet her. Yeah. I remember that feeling. I have a daughter too, you know. The invaders' drones are buzzing around your girl like angry bees. I feared this would happen. Each sting she endures will be a blow to her growth. Can you destroy those drone patrols and keep my daughter safe? Is that a rhetorical question? Do you have any clue how to raise a baby Galenta? I don't need any. I feel it in my essence. A mother always knows what to do with her progeny. Oh boy. My baby needs time with her mother. She needs to eat and grow. How about you go hush-hush on the whole mother-baby thing? I mean, is that even legal around here? It's the will of the Yod, Zulukai. Do you want to be the father? Ah, uh, I, I already got a kid. And they sometimes say two is one too many, and I have all that fighting to do. Wouldn't be home much to provide and all. Know what I mean? It's okay, my friend. You did enough, and the Yods are grateful. It only takes one parent to make things right. I will be a good mother. Go be a good father to your own child, my friend. Getting there, hopefully. Your Galanta looks like she's getting bigger by the minute. Not big enough. All this stress has made her sad. I can see it in her eyes. Lucky her. Sadness makes me gain weight. But I can blame it all on a tub of ice cream. This is Adolfa, Ulukai. Here, growth is quickened by happiness. It's important we keep my daughter happy. What do you want me to do? Rub her belly? Take her for a walk? A walk? Yes, exactly! Can you walk her? Doc, I was joking. No, you are a genius! Taking her for a peaceful, relaxing stroll is just what she needs. Doc, nothing's peaceful and relaxing outside of Amiya. She won't be safe. Please, walk her. Bring her happiness. Help her grow. Let's keep it moving.
That's another resume. Chief Hatzo. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. No invaders showing up yet. So far, so good. This thing is a giant target in the sky. We have to get rid of it. Hey, the miracle of birth is a wonderful thing. Show a little optimism. I know us Talans don't see reversion as a horrible thing, and I'll accept mine when it comes. But for now, I pray for the Yards to take this monster away. Anywhere. It's a big world. Always a pleasure to see you leave. Wrong target, Bird. run out of space.
Can you? I can try. Can you explain to me what a bombar is? Bombars are chappy and furry animals used for farming in Bida. They are harmless, but can be stubborn at times. Do you know anything about Desan? Desan is a village in the far northeast, in the hostile region of Sar. It's built on the top of stone pillars that are rich in halidium. From what I hear, there's a massive invader presence there. What's Okastok? By the odds, that's the best time of a male's life. During Okastok, we feel the calling of Kizar, and the females choose some of us to be their mates, and breed the next generation of Talans. I hope I get lucky next time. What is fey fruit? It can only be found dropping from large trees with red leaves. When they hit the ground, they explode and will hurt you. So if you want to get one, you have to be fast and catch them in midair. See you around. Come back anytime. Hey, Kartak. You again. Mirko gave me these containers to collect the drool of the Twanhas. It's easy. Look. Ugh. Okay. It's a disaster. Maybe we should scare it away. Shoot at it or something. Shoot it? What's going on? Ask Azan. Makes me sick just to talk about it. There's a problem with the Galenta, sir. Describe problem. The Galenta is eating all the Morax. Every single one of them. It uses its trunk to suck them all in. Leaving the treetops clean with nothing left to harvest. Damn it. What's Doc saying about all the- Help! Someone help me! Asen! Protector! You're hurt! Who did this to you? I... We have to... The others! All reverted! The invaders! We came across a patrol! They're coming! Azan, I need your team to cover the treetops. Yes, sir! More. Make sure everyone takes cover inside. Now!
happened exactly as I foretold. Dark, you imbecile. You have brought this on us. That's so. I don't want to hear more excuses. You are not welcome in Emir. I sentence you to exile. Wait! Dark is not responsible for the attack. You are. I call for the election. How dare you? I am your chief. A true chief would never lead a patrol of reverting machines to our village. I have a witness who saw you, Hatzo. Traitor! You are banished from here! I will stay and become the new chief of Emir. Ah, instead of protecting your village against the invaders, you shot at the Galenta to scare it away. I saw it with my own eyes. Ulukai, where is my daughter? I don't see her anywhere. Oh my god, did the invaders... Did Calm they... down, Doc. I'm sure she's fine. Leave them to their political quarrel. Let's split up and find her. That's the Galenta's rumblings. If I can hear it, it must be close. more. Ulukai! What in the yachts? How did all these Morags end up here? Wait here. She's just... eating something. Okay, let's do this.
wait for me. I did scare the Galenter away, to protect her. Oh, cut the Zort, Moor. You saw an opportunity to get rid of her and save your precious Morags, so you took it. Maybe, but at least I didn't put the whole village at risk to get rid of the odd damn creature. That's what you did. Amir is in danger as long as you lead it. Now let's have the citizens decide who should be the chief. Traitor. Traitor yourself. Hey, why don't you two cut it out? Oh, you're wasting your saliva blaming each other. Someone actually found a solution to your problem. How are you still here? You are Emir's problem. We were perfectly fine before you showed up. I banish you. You have no right, Hatzo. The election is not over. Let him speak. I want to hear about what... Huh? Look! The monster is back! There's someone on her back. It looks like someone's riding her. Doc? Look! It's Doc! Doc is riding the Galenta! <laughs> now, be a good girl. Show them what you can do. I wouldn't stay there if I were you! What oh. is... Oh, by the yacht. This is so disgusting. Beautiful. Well done, girl. Well done. Now let's swipe more and more eggs for the harvest. Go! These Morags are perfectly intact. The Galenta was not eating the Morags. Oh, she was storing them. And Doc found a plant that you guys can use to have the Galenta... Um, returning them. Doc saved the harvest! The Galenta saved Amiya! Vote for Doc! Doc is our new chief! Vote for Doc! <laughs> Vote for... Wait, what? What did you just say? I'm sorry, Doc. Woo! You were right, and I was wrong. I will accept whatever punishment my leader gives me. What you did was wrong, Mor. But to err is to learn. I accept your apologies, my friend. I'm happy you didn't hurt my baby. Speaking of hurting, enjoy your new title while it lasts, idiot. There will be more attacks. More Talans will bleed. When they realize what a fool you are and beg me to fix your mess, I will be here. No, you won't. Hatso, as the new leader of Emiya, I... Doc, son of Casimir and mother of the Galenta, sentence you to exile. You will leave Amiya never to return. May the Yards have mercy on you. Now go, and don't look back. You are making a terrible mistake. The Yards haven't spoken their last word yet. Don't come crying to me when the invaders wreak their vengeance upon you. Doc, leader of Emiya, I salute you. I could never have expected this. If my father, Cosmir, could see me now. This all happened thanks to you, Lukai. Is the Galenta in any kind of trouble? It looks fine to me. Look again. 
She is in pain, Ulukai. Can't you hear it? She cries all moon long. I'm her mother, and I don't know how to help her. You have to do something. What do you want me to do? Please don't ask for a bedtime story. I don't know any of those. Those damned Kemenai are attacking her. They've been circling the village, lured in by the stench of our ventilopes. Azan knows how to handle a few more wings. Be cool. <sighs> I will not be cool. Azan can keep the Kemenai away from the ventilopes, but he cannot shoot anywhere around my daughter. The Kemenai are smart, so they stick to her back like parasites and feed on her. Ugh. Ripping her flesh apart, bite after bite, and I can only stand here watching. Zan is not skilled enough. He would miss the target and hurt my baby even more. Okay, okay, let me handle this. Amia is looking good. Nice job, Doc. The village is good, but the villagers are despairing. Are you kidding me? What do they have to complain about? You guys are safe. Harvest is harvesting, no climbers falling from the treetops anymore, and Zorkins for everyone. I mean, tie a few hammocks to those trees, and Emiya wouldn't be far from my idea of paradise. They're children, Ulukai. They miss their children. The young Talans who went north for work have probably been captured by the invaders. I believe they are now slaves in the Helidium mines of Desan. I want them free, back where they belong, back to their families. The same families who called you a fool not so long ago? To lead Amiya, I must leave my past behind. These families are my family. It's my duty to help them. The village won't survive another attack if I'm not around. I know. I cannot ask you to stay here. I'll ask Azan to train more protectors. Azan's bow can't do much against the invaders, I'm afraid. What are you suggesting, my friend? I don't know. Maybe the Dalatai Guardians can help secure the village if they have access to proper weapons. You're the leader now. It's your call. I am not a coward like Hatso. We will fight these invaders with whatever we have. Your girl is taking care of the harvest all by herself? Not bad. I told you to keep the faith, Ulukai. The will of the Yods is finally revealed. Amiya prospers. Yeah, I wouldn't pop the champagne quite yet. The invaders could come back at you with everything they got. End your worries, Ulukai. Azan is training more protectors. Morag harvesting is back on track. Amiya is growing stronger than it ever was. They have enough firepower to raise this place to the ground. Stay sharp, Doc. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. My adventure continues. Be good. Yard speed, Ulukai. What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. I have a bad feeling about Hatso. Is he a sore loser? He chose exile, not out of dignity, but out of fear. He knows the invaders will return here with force. But I have known Hatso for many moons. He'll be back with a vengeance. What about you? No hard feelings? You wanted to become a chief. Ah. All I ever wanted was respect for my social class. Doc comes from the treetops, just like I did. He gave me new responsibilities. He has all my support. New responsibilities? Doc has tasked me with the breeding of Quart, the vomiting plant. My people have started to grow it in the treetops so that Galenta has easy access to it. However, there are complications. What's the problem? Quart lasts for many cycles but it only grows during the rainy season. If we want to accelerate its development now, we need more water. I don't remember the last time it rained in this dimension, so what's plan B? As I captured the Venelope and tried to teach it to suck water from the lakes and spray it on the plants. But Venelopes are wild, and as I is no tamer. He kept threatening the animal with his bow. I wouldn't have fared any better. Yeah, well, the Venelope's gone now. As I shut it and it blew away. 
Can't he get an expert to tame the damn birds? To tame a venelope, you need one, many moons of practice, and two, a venelope. Venelopes are very rare in the meal. Zahn only caught one by mistake. He was aiming at something else completely. When I was a kid, I taught our parrot to imitate the sound of the doorbell. It drove my mom nuts. That's the limit of my bird training skills, though. You know where I can find an expert? Sap has been quite successful at training their venelopes to fish. A tamer there could teach him how to water our plants. Zorkins won't be an issue if you can strike us a deal with Sap. Here. When could I ever say no to the beach? I'll find someone. Maybe they rent surfboards over there. The Zorkins I gave you are not for leisure time. Can't a man get one single day off? Jeez. Catch you later, Moore. Much later, okay? Talk to you? Tell me where to shoot. <clears throat> Moore says to quit the Vantelope taming gig. I will be back with a proper tamer, okay? Affirmative, sir. On my way. See you, Azan. What are you doing in my house? No one taught you how to knock? <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's no door, so, uh, uh... This is a nice vest you're making here. It's... It's a work in progress, and I don't want anyone to judge before it's finished. Yeah, I can see how it'll make you stand out, even from up there. We have motorcycle club vests where I'm from. They're made of leather, though. This one has more style with the, uh, feathers and all. I still need a few of them to complete the prototype. This one's for Zalib, and it's taking a lot more feathers than expected. Well, Zalib is a big Talan. I'm sure he'll love it. You wanted to see me for a reason? You're looking for me? The village of Amiya needs your help. Now they're growing a special plant called Quart high in the treetops and can use some ventilopes to water them. They're willing to pay. I can teach the ventilopes to carry water from the lakes around Emiya, then drop their load on the plants. But your Zorkins are useless in Zappa. Everyone trades goods here. So what do you want for it? I once tamed this very clever ventilope that used to be so good at collecting rare feathers for me. She would bring them to me from the regions around Zappa, going as far as Emiya and even Bida sometimes. What happened to your flying friend? The invaders shot at her. She got scared, flew away. She's still collecting beautiful feathers, but she's not bringing them here anymore. She drops them in her new nest. It's the one at the top of the tallest tree I have ever seen. I call it the feather tree. I'll get your feathers and trade them for tamed ventilopes for Amiya. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. See ya.
hate giant alien spiders. You're looking for me? Ah, look at these colorful feathers. Is that what you were looking for? Beautiful. Some of these are rare. Nice find, thank you. They're worth a tamed ventilope for Emiya. Don't hesitate to bring more of these beauties if you need more ventilopes. Thanks, Yunair. Much appreciated. I'll tell them the ventilopes are coming then. See ya. What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. How's our new irrigation plan working out? It's work. The ventilopes are taking water from the lakes and dropping it on the plants. Some people below are still getting surprise showers, but it's considered good luck. <laughs> I saw his anger drenched. He needs it. He's one smelly to mom. <laughs> I don't remember last time I had such a good laugh. You know what? I don't think I've showered since 1999, but it's probably my memory playing tricks on me. Catch you later, Moore. Much later, okay?
in business. I think I'm gonna be sick. <sighs> Move it, Slade. They're coming. Okay, they all want to play.
Can I have a word? The Almayel hears you. Daramon is the word the Yards gave the Talan people to express our unity. Sending a human to gather them has a symbolic meaning. I've been telling you, I am playing for your team. But what I'm eventually after is the home run, remember? The Yards have spoken. Akastok will be. Talk to Nefeim. She is expecting you. Excuse me, miss. Bless the message. I've been waiting for you. Wait no more. I'm Nefaim, main festival planner for the Akastok Extravaganza. The Almayel told me you'd be willing to help. You know, she said you were going to be really weird looking, but I don't know. With some berry blush on your cheeks and some highlights, you might not actually be a lost cause. Uh, thank you? What do I need to know about Okastok? Male and female Talons only come together once per cycle in an amazing festival called Akastok. We skipped the last cycles because of, you know, invaders. So everyone in Adelpha is really excited. Except for me. I'm under a lot of pressure to make this event absolutely perfect. Males and females only come together once a year? That must be quite a celebration. Celebrating a small period of harmony. You know, Milea? Once a cycle, males and females put aside their differences and come together to, you know, do something amazing. Kids need music lessons, huh? Not sure if I qualify. I played drums once in a heavy metal band in high school. Vicious Slade and the Devil Dorks. I, I wasn't one of the dorks. Uh, anyway, I, I didn't know how to play drums, really. But we were so loud, no one noticed. Have no fear, message. Saren can do the music lessons, if she gathers enough kids to sit still. Saren's a wonderful teacher, but she's getting a bit old. Chasing kids around all day can get exhausting. Right. I'll talk to her. You don't like the Makari too much. I already told Saren. With Akastok almost here, we can't have any Makari running around. They go crazy when they smell a male Talon around the children. Can you remind her to deal with it? She knows what to do. I'll talk to her. See if I can help. Thank you, message. You can call me Cutter. Why would I do that? Is there a problem with the flowers? If by problem, you mean there are no flowers left, then yes, there is one big problem. Okay, I'm not a gardener, so good luck with that. The spear shrouds Kizar with a veil of endless night. We don't get much moonlight here, and this is precisely what flowers need to grow. So no flowers then. It's pity, but as I said before... Yes, flowers, silly. We call them milioras, and they all mysteriously disappeared, but they can grow back. And if you nourish them with pure water from the sacred fountains, milioras grow faster than any other plant on Adelpha. All right, Lady Luck. Watering flowers is not the most manly thing for a guy like me to do. I'm sure you could put me and my weapons to better use. What are you talking about? You speak as if flowers were a female hobby? How old are you to refer to such dusty stereotypes? I'm too busy here, mister, and I was told you would help. Not that you would only help with manly tasks, whatever that means. <sighs> what kind of food do you need? The best kind? I can order most of the food myself, but it would be so helpful if you could get the morags. We need loads of them. You can get them in Amiya. Morags. Okay. Got it. 
The sacred fountains are dirty? Ugh, those filthy beasts, the Makari. I told the children again and again, just because it's the color of morag juice doesn't make it morag juice. Saren forbids the children to drink it, but kids will be kids. I'm no shamas, but I'm pretty sure that's what's causing their stomach aches. What else would it be? These fountains might get their water from one source, right? You know where the source might be? Excellent question. I have no idea. The Almayel probably knows where the source is. Okay, imagine I'm Oka Stock's bartender. What would I need to refill the bar? The bar? Is that like a male thing? What? No, I... Someone really has to invent the concept of a bar on this planet. Drinks. What do you need to refresh the guests, Nefeim? Something that offers a kick, like lampe. The best lampe is brewed in the village of Bida. Go there and ask for Marzo. I think he's going to be really excited about the return of Akastok. Him and Saren, they have a long history. I totally see those two together. Marzo should send the lampe over as soon as he can restock. I hope this won't take too long. We can't delay Okastok forever. If there's someone who wishes Okastok would happen today, it's Marzo. I trust him to go as fast as he can, but I'll see if I can speed things up a little bit. See you, Nephilim. May the Yods be with you. The Almayel hears you. I'm looking for the source of the sacred fountains. The answer lies underwater. Find the flooded cave, find the source. Till next time. wrong with you? Did someone beat you up? What? No. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that was your normal face. I'm Ashana. I'm Cutter Slade, friend of your mom. Seriously? Has she sent you to pick me up? I'm ready to go. Now. Whoa, slow down, Firefly. That ain't the plan, but I'm working on getting your mom back here to visit you. I don't want her to visit. I want to leave and fight with the... Sorry. I speak too much when I'm excited. Saren told me it's because my parents are both Faye Talons. Yeah, look, you'll discuss all that with your mom, okay? I'm not the best when it comes to the parenting stuff. Does your belly hurt too? Sometimes, but I don't complain. The other kids whine about every little thing. I'm stronger than them. Oh, I see. Any idea where this pain is coming from? Do I look like a Shamaz? How should I know? Grow, my beautiful Meliorats. Grow tall and... Huh? No Makati in the flowers! Out! I see you hiding there! Don't make me come and... Oh, I'm sorry, Nefaim. Eating Meliorats? Did you fall on your head? No wonder the children are getting sick. She said it's the only way to become a super warrior with superpowers. Who told you such nonsense? Ishana! Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Don't look at her. What's the problem? This young lady is the mastermind behind the stomach cramps. She told the other children to consume the sacred Meliorats. Why in the yards would anyone do that? My father... <sighs> he needs me to be powerful when I grow up. Meliorats have power. How else should I do it? I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. You're grounded. You want to have power? Take this and lead your friends. You are all grounded. Now, you water the Meliorats. But I don't want to. 
This is so boring. Ishana? Leave me alone. So, Ishana, do you remember your mother? Only in my dreams. She left a long time ago. Do you miss her? I do. And I miss my father, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Thought you never met your dad before he... Before he got... Reverted? I'll tell you a secret. My father's not reverted yet. I'm meeting with him all the time. Meeting him? In your dreams? No. Here. Have you noticed it's always nighttime in Kizar? Hazardouses visit at night. My father's Hazardous is here, in Kizar. Look, flowers aren't for eating, okay? This is why the kids are feeling sick, isn't it? Don't eat flowers, Ashana. Don't scream, Ashana. Don't punch the Shamaz and the Nards, Ashana. How am I supposed to become a Dolatai guardian if you and Saren don't let me complete my training? This is what you're doing? Training? Why? You're just a kid. My father wants me to fight the invaders and finish what he started. By eating flowers? Come on. Super flowers! Isn't that how you get superpowers? By eating super things. My father keeps telling me to eat my veggies. And last time I checked, flowers are plants. So why am I super grounded again? Eat your veg? No, 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 look. What Yan is trying to tell you is to be a good kid, not a fighter. You gotta play, learn new stuff, eat healthy food, and enjoy innocence while it lasts. Playing is not fun. I always end up being grounded because the kids are whining about their bleeding nose or whatever. That's not playing, that's fighting. You gotta learn how to play, young lady. Oh yeah? Then show me. Okay, well, let me talk to Nefaim and see if we can figure out a way to do your chores and have fun at the same time. Yans has it us. Like his spirit? Where is it now? He comes when Punch is asleep. Punch is my Makari. She freaks out when my father's around. What does your father want? He teaches me about the rebellion and the ways of... the Dolatai guardians. I'll grow up to become the strongest Dolatai guardian who ever lived and make my father proud. I think your mother would also be proud. I'm not allowed to ask about her. I don't even know her name. Her name is Liaz, and she is a tough one. Just like her daughter, it seems. Liaz. Stay out of trouble, kid. I'm already in trouble. Hello there. You must be the message. I heard you were coming. The Yards really talk to you, huh? Something like that. By the way, the name's not Message, it's Cutter. Cutter Slade. My two Sorkins is that you should stick with Message. It flows better. I'm Seren. How can I help you today? Nephilim told me you needed help with the kids, so... Here I am. <laughs> Great. The little bastards are gonna eat you alive. It's our custom for the children to ring the bells of Melia during Okastok. That keeps them busy while the adults are... also busy. Know what I mean? But Okastok got delayed, then the kids got sick, and... Enough said. They aren't ready. I'm thinking about music lessons, but these little ankle biters butchering sacred melodies can really make your ears bleed. So... how about you teach them? Okay, teach the children. I can do this. I'm a military operative. They're little kids. How much trouble can they be? <laughs> On second thought, take the gun. We only need four volunteers. Good luck! Anything else I should know about the Makari? Yeah. Before Okastog can start, you've got to help me put the Makari back in their cages. Why? Makari are extremely possessive of the kids they protect. Now, there's gonna be plenty of fathers arriving for Okastok. 
and they're gonna want to spend some quality time with their kids. And that's gonna piss the Makari off. They can get aggressive. So that's why you need to put them in the cages. By myself? I'm here to help you with caging them, remember? I'm a mentor. I'll teach you how. That's how we work together, you see? So, are you ready to do this? You're teaching all those kids by yourself? I call it mentoring. I do most of it. They also learn a lot from their Makari. The flashy creatures I've seen around? They teach the kids? Looks like I have to teach you what a mentor does. Listen, every Talan child is raised with a Makari. They're like guardians. They protect the kids, play with the kids, provide comfort, make sure the kids are getting enough sleep. Although it's tough to figure out bedtime when it's always night in Kizar. But hey, where would we be without the spear protecting us, right? I guess the mothers take care of their kids too, right? Whoa, what backwards planet are you from? Female Talons are too busy running the planet. They don't have time to raise children. Did any kids suffer from stomach aches after the visit of the Shamaz? Yes, it happens frequently. At first, I thought this was just an excuse to skip class. But now I'm convinced that the pain is real, even though this curious disease is only affecting children so far. Any idea about what is causing that? I'm not sure. Sacred fountains, probably. The purity of their water is not what it used to be. They are not supplied with fresh water anymore, and this is something the Almayel should fix as soon as possible. All right, let's give it a shot. Ring the bells down. We need four kids to ring the bells and kick off Okastok. Let's talk again later. Uh, sure. Bye. told me about. Hey, Shana. How's it going? Meh. You want to learn how to ring the bells of Malaya? Uh, bite me with a Z-Dog's head on a stick instead. Saren's music lessons are so boring. So, now that we solved the mystery of the stomach cramps, how about those music lessons? Come on, it'll be quick. Help me round up your friends. You like to play games, right? Let's make it a game then. <sighs> okay, smart ass. Which game are we playing? Tag. Me and my friends are fast. If you catch us, I'll convince them to volunteer for a music lesson with you, Ulukai. All right, you better start running then. All right. One, two, three, four. Don't peek! Cut or don't cheat, kid. Five, nine, eleven, fifteen, twenty! Here I come! I think I'm going the wrong way. Too easy, kid. Wrong way, slave.
back. Tagged and bagged. Tag you. You cheated. I won. Don't be a sore loser. We had a deal. All right, all right. We'll do what you say. Catch them all.
the water's warm. How is the preparation going? I found the source of the fountains and cleared the path so fresh water could flow again. We're good. As long as you keep helping, you are amazing. But because of our little Makari problem, the water is still not completely pure. I mean, I wouldn't drink it, for example. Seriously. Could you please make sure the Makaris don't play in the fountains and put their... You know, they're... in the water. Problem already solved. All right. Will it also cleanse me of my sins? Um, does it have anything to do with filthy water? Well, there was this one time at the pool. I was just a kid back then, and... Uh... Time flies, message. Chop, chop. All right, all right. Cleansing song. You got it. On my way. Katamon song. See you, Nephim. May the yards be with you.
The Almayel hears you. I found the source and did a little underwater work to clear the fountains, but Nephaim says it's not good enough. You must sing on top of that. She asked for a cleansing song. Damn it, I forgot the name. I guess you know what she means. Yes, the Kadamon song is one of purification. Listen to the words. Nephaim. How is the preparation going? So look, I've changed my mind, and I will help you water the damn flowers after all. Oh no, you don't have to do that anymore. Ishana is grounded, and she will do it along with the other grounded children. That will teach them a lesson. We'll do it together. What do you say? Are you sure? doing here i couldn't risk using the comm link they may be listening who are you talking about speak dalatai guardian we have spotted a massive convoy en route with reinforcements oh no the invaders are regrouping for an attack on emia we have to evacuate the village we don't have time i'll intercept the convoy before it reaches their base but how the galenta with your permission chief i could take her and maybe yods be with you both ulukai Soldier, your friends are on their way to eradicate it to land village. Let me check the log. Jesus, that transport ship's got hundreds of armed infantry units. What are you going to do? Improvise. Did you say hundreds? You don't have to fight the troops. A transport ship can be sabotaged from the outside if you have a way to board it. Oh, I got one big flying way indeed. Slayed out. to jump.
You did it. Good job, Commander. Massive damage with zero human casualties. Yeah, but I have a feeling they'll keep coming. I'd better have an eye on the sky from now on. I'll monitor the transport log as well. By the way, found a decryption code to another quantum fence, marking the position on your map. Understood. Thanks. It's laid out. Zan, can I talk to you? Tell me where to shoot. The ventilopes are watering the treetops from now on. Please don't shoot at them. That's a good thing. Squirting the Galenta to her feeding ground was a dangerous task. If she can eat here, she shouldn't leave the village anymore. On my way, then. Let's hunt come and night together sometime. Ran out of storage. Accept this Daramon as a symbol of our gratitude. Tell the Almayel that Amia stands with the Talans of Adelpha, united as one nation in the eyes and ears of the Yards. Thank you, Doc. I'm gonna head up to Kizar with this. I should visit Kizar and bring Amia's Daramon to the Almayel. What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. Someone in Kizar asked me to provide the island with enough more axe for the next Oka stock. Can you help? Oka stock? It's been a while. But when Kizar calls, we shall listen. Go to the treetops and harvest what you need. Oka stock is good news and a sign that things are slowly getting back to normal. I don't see anything normal about it, but I am just a visitor. Of course. It could also be a giant slaughter of all our males and females at the same place. Not to mention the children. The end of the Talan race. Hopefully the spear will protect us all while we're on the island. Catch you later, Moore. Much later, okay? Concerns. Let me remind you that your orders are about gathering resources, not wasting them in unnecessary conflicts. I stand behind my report. Military costs can't be compromised. What's the status on negotiation with the native population? I have put in a significant effort. But all our attempts have been rebuffed. If anything, I'd like to request more reinforcements to nip any uprising in the bud. You lost a precious convoy, General. And frankly, some people here are questioning the leadership that led to such a disaster. That was a technical accident and an isolated incident. It's all in my report. I assure you that I have the situation well in hand. It's getting hot in there. Eventually, you're gonna run out of excuses, General.
Everything good? You look even more serious than usual. The Almayel's dissonance is a sign of Sankra. The songs of Melia are half sung for the first time in Talan history. What's wrong with your sister? She lost her voice or something? She is busy with other concerns. May the Yods favor your quest for our sake. The Almayel hears you. Let me get this straight. To save you from extinction, the Yods want me to put on some kind of Woodstock festival? Celebrating Akastok will allow males and females to unite, and only through unity can we survive this invasion. Ask Nefaim how you can help with the preparations. Like what? Choose the bands? Design the poster? The Almayel has half spoken. I guess not. Let's talk to Saren then. Till next time. Stock. Hi, Nefaim. How is the preparation going? Is that enough more eggs for you? I guess that will do if you don't eat any. Leave them for the guests. See you, Nefaim. May the yachts be with you. tune in mind reminding me that girls just want to have fun so how fun was that i never had such a good time while being grounded i think your dad would agree you were right his hazardous is ready to leave now he is there he talks to me in my dreams he wants something but it's so hard to remember when I wake up. Walk with the Yods, Yan. Your heart is my armor. My heart is forever yours. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. Don't be sorry. Be happy. Jan's has a death has finally reverted. May his essence shine with the eternal flame of yod Fay. Hey, Shana. How's it going? Meh. Jan wasn't here to make a warrior out of you. A father just wants his kid to be happy. Sorry he didn't have quality time with him when he was alive. That's okay. I'm happy that he finally will revert. Thank you, Ulukai. Stay out of trouble, kid. I'm already in trouble.
the kids are all right. Hey, another one of my favorite playlists. Anyway, they're willing to ring the bells. All right, let's give it a shot. Bring the bells down. Oh no, the children would start messing around with them. We need to find another way. How about I shoot them instead? Shooting the bells? You're intense. I like that. Follow me. Darren, what's going on? Whole lot of shaking going on. Uh, what did you just say? I, I don't know. I just thought it sounded good. Can you help me with the Katamon song? I can show you how the bells of Melia work. Do you want to start a lesson? So, got you some more eggs. Nice. Very nice. I need a fresh batch of lamp ASAP. It's for the Okastock Festival. Okastock? This one's on the house. I'll send a shipment right away. Yacht, we waited for this festival long enough. It's gonna be epic. Rock and roll, then. I'll let Nefim know the lamp is coming. You send my best to Saren. I can't wait to see her again. See you next moon. 
Now that's enough lamp to forget about the invasion for a while. This is gonna hurt.
helpful. And oh so harmful. I'm here. I'm sending you new coordinates. You want to reach this location ASAP. I got a lot on my plate, soldier. What's this about? I don't know. But the general himself is en route. Whatever my people found in that town, it must be important. All right, I'll have a look. Stay clear of any Alpha officer. Jack Burham wants you alive. I'm a Navy SEAL trained in advanced surveillance and stealth techniques. No one is catching me alive. Nor dead. Slate out. Nefim. How is the preparation going? I've spoken with Marzo and Bida. The Lampe is coming. Wonderful. Is Marzo attending Akastok? He would miss it for the world. Yikes. Then maybe I didn't order enough Lampe. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, Saren is the one who should be the most bothered by the news, not me. Thank you for your help. Are we good with the drinks? Not exactly. Could you be a cute little ventilope and ask the Almayel to sing the Gaiat song? It will infuse love energy into the drinks. Thank you. Um, okay. See you, Nephilim. May the yachts be with you. It's me again. So it is. The same message, unchanged. So I found Lampe for the big fest, but I'm told it needs some of your power to make it all, you know. If you mean that the drink must be infused with the Gaiyat song, then yes, the Almayel must sing. A love song, right. Take it away then. The Almayel. I... I can't... Not inspired, huh? Now it happens to the best of us. The dissonance of the message. It brought too much Sankra to the Almayel's voice. Are you capable of love, human? Am I capable of... What kind of question is that? Yeah, you know, I'm capable. All the ladies say I'm extremely capable. There was this one time... Huh. 
What the heck? It's all blurry and... I can't remember. You have reverted without most memories from your previous life. And I don't want them all back, but at least... some? To compose a Gaiat song, I need to hold a memory that touches feelings, but I can't. Sankra is cloaking my mind. I need that memory to come from you. So you need a memory for me that's, like, heartfelt? Okay, well, uh, heartfelt. Camilla, seven years old, braces, big smile, but I'm... Damn, I'm, I'm losing the memory. I can't hold on to it. It feels like a door slamming in my face. Can you help me unlock it? Use the Daoka and come back with an echo from your past. There must be one waiting for you. Go. Till next time. What do you mean? Like, a gift? Yeah. My friend's daddy always brings her a present when he goes on a trip because he loves her. But that's all right. You don't have to. Camilla, you know I love you. With or without gifts. Right, baby girl? I love you too, daddy. That's why I said you didn't have to. I know. Back with what you need, I think. I remember how it feels, too. I feel it. The memory is pure and touching. Can you use the way I feel about Camilla to compose the song? Yes, thank you. Hear the Gaiat song. ever heard the Gaiat song straight from the mouth of the Almayel. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I think so. That was something else. I feel a bit high right now. Saren. Oh, it's you. Bless the yods. Can you help me with the Gaiat song? I can show you how the bells of Melia work. Do you want to start a lesson?
I did everything Nephilim requested. Thanks to you, Akastok is just one calling away. Accept half of Kizar's Daramon, a token of the Almael's gratitude. <sighs> oh, wow. I mean, that was one hell of a touch. I mean, it feels like... Like, there's no word for this. Then let your essence listen. Can you hear it? the other half of the Almael's medallion if I want to put the Daramon together. Italian, huh?
We found more of these, but none of them are functional. Another rebel trying to copy our weapons. Embarrassing. We have to eliminate this savage before he gets it right. He's got to be here somewhere. Jack Borum. Search the perimeter! Okay, well, that's my cue to get Don't out. Don't move! Really? How did you spawn right behind me? Caught an intruder! Hey, Jack. We gotta stop meeting like this. I, I don't understand. How many of you are here? Tired of offing me, huh? No matter how many times you try, I'm gonna get my daughter back. I will never stop. Shoot him! You already fooled me once. Twice. No more. Ah, not good. Camilla, talk to me. Goddamn piece of junk isn't working. You know where my little girl is? Forget about her. This will be over soon, Slade. Not until I say so, coward. Dolotai guardians told me of the battle in Procriana. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, the uh, invaders were here again. They think someone in Procriana is manufacturing weapons, or rather, trying to copy theirs. Impossible. The recreators were exterminated. Every last one. I wouldn't be so sure. You have to investigate further, Ulukai. Someone in Procriana must know something. You're right, but let's not discuss this topic on the comm link. They may be listening. Slay down.
Not the way to go. me again. You were saying something earlier. Slate, it's me. <laughs> Who else could it be? You said we were not exactly friends, but you're the longest human relationship I've had. <laughs> Forever? Stop talking. Damn it. I gotta go. Hey, are you alright? I'm not trying to get in your business, but be there? Answer me. New coordinates. Where are you leading me this time? Fine. Ghost me. I don't care. I got other friends. Maybe a friend and me can even scope out this place together. Do you have anything for me? Talk about a killer queen. Here you go. Queens neither kill nor revert anyone. Look at her. She is gorgeous. I want to improve the swarm, so keep those specimens coming. Such a lovely, lovely queen. I can't wait to stimulate her so she starts producing pheromones. You can't wait. Ugh. Damn it. Now I have this totally messed up image in my mind. What good are the pheromones? I have an idea. Nurikon could create some sort of azure beacon. He'll know what to do. Let me draw you a basic plan of what I have in mind, and a list of necessary ingredients. Z-Dog sap, red halidium, and those precious Asur Queen pheromones. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. Slate Lias. Come in, my friend. Yes, Urukai? Have a look at your map. Want to meet at these new coordinates? Why? Do we need a reason? How about discovering something new? Sharing an experience. It's called, uh, bonding. Between friends. I'm busy tracking an invader convoy right now. Maybe next time. Sure. Sure, yeah. Uh, next time's fine. Can you at least tell me something about these coordinates? That looks like Mazam's cabin. Mazam is an old hermit, isolated from the villages. I hope he's not in danger. Could you check on him, Ulakai? I'll pay him a visit. Slate out. Yes. I'm in Procriana. What's your status? Flying to Sapa. My ventilope needs to be patched up, and Shema Zalib owes me. Okay, listen. Refar can control swarms of domesticated Asures, and they are nasty. I know. They attacked me more than once. Are you happy that Unair is back? He was starting to get worried. Thank you for your help. I hope he won't need too much time to recover. We have a lot of work on our hands. Do you happen to own any scrolls? I used to borrow them from the Dano library before Procriana was attacked. A rich source of information, but they're rare now. There's this librarian, Kureg. He's rebuilding the library. If you have a library scroll, I should probably return it to him. But of course, here it is. The old Talan and the Sinecta. A fishing manual. Good talking to you, Bram. Same here. I need special beacons to guide the swarm, though. Have you talked to Nurkan at the souvenir shop? He sells all kinds of trinkets. I will. Thanks. Slate out.
Thanks for your help, Kurek. I did it! I made a major discovery! I am racking up them scrolls. Here. I'm sorry about your hacking cough. Could you please leave? No coughing in the library. Here's your page of Asio's research. See you later. It's not that early. Yeah, these little gluttons saved me. Say that again? Procreon is crawling with a little... Uh, what do you call them? Oh, the Psy. They infested the capital after most of the Talans evacuated. Psy just want a quiet place to live in peace. Well, Psy eat Asiers. Did you know that? We don't know much about Psy, even though they're probably the oldest life forms on Adelpha. I guess living in peace also helps them live longer. If they were persecuted, they would fight or revert, just like the rest of us. Okay, sensitive topic. I gotta go now. Slate out. Hi, Nurkan. Have a souvenir. It's free. Later, Nurkan. Later to you. Hi, Nurkan. Have a souvenir. It's free. Here's the plan that Refar gave me. Hmm. Interesting. A plan for an Asir beacon. I could create this for you, but you'd have to bring me the essential parts. I'm on it. As a recreator, you manufactured weapons for the Dalatai Guardians, right? How did that work? After the Ulakai left Adelpha, the Recreator Guild ordered all its members to regroup in Procreana to work on old weapons left by Feyran and the dismantled army of Croax. It was an ambitious project, and we all knew the risks. We could recreate most of the weapons, but only Talans with the Fey Essence, such as the Dolatai Guardians, could shoot them. And it wasn't enough. The invaders have more sophisticated weaponry. The Dolatai Guardians alone were no match for them. Their guns could barely scratch their metal. They should have waited, thought of a better plan. But Jan was so determined. Would you be able to modify the invaders' weapons for Talan? Any Talan, no matter their essence. It would be a challenge. But this is what recreators do. And this is what Hume would have wanted. So yes. Okay, look, I have an idea, but we're gonna need backup. Did anyone follow you here? I came alone as instructed. Why did you want me here, Ulukai? To show you this. The invaders are machines. I already know that. Yes, they are, but there's more. I found a recreator, the last of his kind, and he agreed to recreate invaders' weapons for the Dalatai Guardians, enough of them to level with these robotic monsters. Yods above. This is a big moon for the Talons. I know, but we'll both have to work for it, so I'm gonna need you to gather up more parts like this one. All you have to do is pick the bases clean after me. I'll leave plenty of these behind. Who is the recreator? Look, I can't tell you yet, but he gave me secret coordinates for the deliveries. He'll take it from there. I trust your judgment. I will brief my people now. The wind of battle is turning. Well done, Ulukai. Hi, Nurkan. Have a souvenir. It's free. So this used to be your partner? Hewn, yes. His hazardous is here to encourage me. Hewn threw everything he had into the battle against the invaders. He won't find peace and revert until I finish the fight for him. All by yourself? Hewn is asking a lot. You'll need more than encouragement, Nurkan. Isn't that why you're here? Together, we can help Yoon achieve his destiny and finally revert. I believe in you, Ulakai, and so does Yoon. His hazardous speaks to me. Keep a low profile, man.
think I'm going the wrong way. Not the way to go. I think I'm going the wrong way. Do you have anything for me? One more queen coming up. You really enjoy this, don't you? Sadly, I'm running out of space to keep more Asiur queens. How about I take this one and you find yourself a new hobby? See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. Blue Hilidium. Sweet. Hi, Refar. Do you have anything for me? I've been carrying these larvae around. Can't say I'll miss them. Thank you. Don't hesitate to bring more. See you, Refar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. your pheromones to craft his beacons.
Reiner can. Have a souvenir. It's free. 